Hello, and welcome to this Odoo Essentials video. There are three ways to sell either your products or your services. You may want to sell your products online using e-commerce, in your shop by using point of sale, or with your salespeople, either on the phone or in person. And we're going to show you how to do the third way through Odoo. The first thing you're going to do is enter your sales application. Now we're going to create a quotation. A quotation is an offer that you're going to give to your customer. So we'll do that by going to quotations. And the first thing then we will do is to add our customer. We can either choose a customer we've sold to before. We can create a customer. Or if you start typing a name, we have an autocomplete system. And from that, you can select your customer and it will autocomplete with the information. Now we will add a product. Here we also have the option to either choose a product that's already in our system or create a new product. So we're going to create a new product. Let's say couch. All right, description, order quantity one, unit price, $100. Now, for the taxes, you may see something different because it depends on what country you're in. Okay, I'm going to add a new product. Now, this product is going to be one that we already have in our system. I'm going to choose chair. Now, I would like to add a section for this. Okay, add the section. I'm going to drag this section to the top of the list so I know that the products that are underneath it are in this category, furniture. Now let's say my client would like to purchase a reading lamp. I'm gonna create reading lamp. Again, at a price, let's say $90. Okay, I'm gonna add a section, lights. Again, I'm going to drag this above reading lamp so that I know that this is in the lights category. I will save my quotation. And I have two ways of giving my customer this information. I can either print it, perhaps you would like them to sign it in front of you, or I can send by email. So we're gonna do the second method, send by email. So here, when I, after I click the button, we see this template. You can edit this or you can send as is. I will send. At the bottom of the page, you will see the chatter. This is the history of the quotation. You will see when it was created and by whom. You can also see that the quotation was sent. Now the quotation will enter your customer's email and they will open it. And if you would like to see exactly what they see, you can click the preview button. When your customer sees this, they have the option to either print or download the quotation. And in a future video, we're gonna see how they can confirm the quotation or pay for it. So now we will go back to the offer. Now let's say that your customer has decided to confirm the offer. We will select the confirm button here. And when you do that, it's automatically turned into a sales order. And we can see this in this top right corner. When it's turned into a sales order, it triggers other actions. So now you see we have a create invoice button and you also see that it's created a delivery order. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.